Hello guys and welcome back to another video from my YouTube channel that is Bipin Sharma Biology Tutorials and today we are talking about the nature of enzyme action as well as the action of different kind of enzymes. So if you have not watched the enzymes part 1 then just go and watch it first. The link of that particular video will be in the description below. So just watch it before watching this particular video. So today we are going to talk about the action of enzymes. So since in the last lecture we have talked about the active sites, the crevices, the loops, the different kind of pockets that are present in the tertiary structure of a particular enzyme, which are known as active site because the substrate, substrate which is getting converted into the product is binding enzyme at that particular site known as the active site. Okay. So a substrate that has to be converted into product, which is our reactant with the help of enzyme got converted into product and we can take it in a particular sequential manner that the substrate get binds to the active site of a particular enzyme E represents enzyme, S represents substrate and P represents product. So the substrate binds to the active site of a particular enzyme to form enzyme substrate complex. Enzyme substrate complex is an intermediate state and it is a transient phenomena or it is known as transition state transition state structure because it is forming in between so this is showing the transition of substrate and product the substrate first of all convert into enzyme substrate complex then it got converted into product so it is a transition state and what are the properties of transition state we are going to learn this in this particular video that what are the properties of this enzyme substrate complex so the substrate got converted into enzyme substrate complex with the involvement of enzymes by acting on its active sites and that particular enzyme substrate complex many intermediate states or the transition states can also occur between this and the final product and enzyme will be formed because the enzyme is not utilized in this particular reaction so the enzyme will remain as such with the formation of product. So here is a very important line that all intermediate states are unstable. All intermediate states are transient phenomena found via transition pheno uh, transient phenomena and since the transition states have a very high energy since we can look in this particular diagram that we are talking about potential energy in this particular line in this particular axis. So the transition state will also have the highest energy and the things that have higher energy will have the lowest stability. So all intermediate states are unstable. That's why they have a very high energy. We can also tell it in the form of energy also. So now let us look at a very important diagram which is very 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 important from the examination point of view. So in this particular graph here this axis represents the potential energy potential energy or the energy that is present in different kind of substances such as substrate, transition state or intermediate state or the products. So this graph shows the variation of potential energy with the reaction progress or the structural transformation because if we are talking about a particular reaction there are different kind of structural transformations. The old bonds will break and the new bonds will form. So there are many transformations in a particular reaction. So in this particular axis, we are talking about the structure transformation. That is the change in structures, modification in structures. That is simply called the reaction progress or the progress of a reaction. And on this axis, we are talking about the potential energy or the energy carried by different kind of chemical compounds. So if we are talking about substrate, this energy level is for substrate. The highest energy level as we have talked about it indicates the most unstable chemical compound that are known as the transition state. There may be one, two and more transition states. So the graph will look like this in many cases where the transition states are more than one. But simply in our syllabus, there is the chemical reactions with only one transition state. So this is the transition state having the highest energy and this is product since the product is having the potential energy even much lesser than the substrate 
S is representing substrate and P is representing the product. Since the product is having energy lesser than the substrate, it simply means that substrate has loose energy. It has lost energy or the energy is released in this particular reaction for which we have made this particular graph. So the reaction would be exothermic since the product have less potential energy than the substrate therefore the reactions are exothermic in which energy is released. The transition state that is Ts will have the highest potential energy among all of these that is substrate product and transition state. And there comes another concept that is the activation energy which is represented by Ea. What do you mean by activation energy? Activation energy is the minimum amount of energy that is given to a particular substrate to cross the energy barrier and to proceed the further reaction or to got converted into product. So there is a minimum amount of energy which must be given to the substrate. If this kind of energy is not be given to the substrate, the substrate would not be able to get converted into product. So this is the energy that is given that must be given to the substrate. So this red pen shows the Ea without enzyme or the activation energy without enzyme. So this is the reaction progress without enzyme. Without enzyme, the energy between substrate and the transition state is represented by the activation energy and this particular activation energy is very high without enzyme. So what is the role of enzyme in a particular reaction? What is the role of enzyme to catalyze a particular reaction? In the second graph which is with enzyme, this particular blue pen shows a reaction progress in which the Ea, the value of activation energy is quite small. Since the activation energy's value is quite small in this particular case, therefore more and more substrate molecules will cross the energy barrier because the barrier is low now. The barrier is quite small. So more and more energy, more and more substrate molecules will cross this energy barrier so get converted into product. Okay. So this is the role of enzyme that it reduces the amount of activation energy that is needed to proceed a particular reaction. So this is a graph between potential energy and reaction progress. Reaction progress can also be told as structural transformation because there are different breaking and making of new bonds in a particular chemical reaction. In this particular graph, the energy of substrate is more than energy of product. Therefore, the reaction is exothermic. The transition state is having the highest energy and the activation energy without enzyme is, is much higher than the activation energy with enzyme. So the role of enzyme is to reduce the activation energy barrier so that more and more substrate molecules can be converted into product. Okay, so this is about the graph. Now the nature of enzyme action. How does the enzymes react? How does the enzymes act towards a particular chemical reaction? This is enzyme and this is substrate. We all know that the enzyme has some kind of crevices at which different kind of substrate bind. So enzyme has some crevices or some kind of pockets in which the substrate get bind which is known as active site. So at active site of enzyme the substrate will bind and this is a reversible reaction. You have to note that reversible reaction. The other reactions are irreversible that cannot be move in backward direction but this reaction is the reversible reaction that is enzyme substrate complex the complex that is formed by the interaction of enzyme and substrate is known as enzyme substrate complex and that complex can also be breaked by given by giving energy and can be converted into enzyme plus substrate so the enzyme substrate complex can be now converted into another intermediate stage another transition state which is known as enzyme product complex or the enzyme product association p is the product here so e plus s that is enzyme and substrate will combine to form enzyme substrate complex reversibly and the enzyme substrate complex will be converted into enzyme product association or the enzyme product complex and after that the enzyme product complex will be dissociated into enzyme which is not utilized in a particular reaction which remain as such after the reaction 
and the product will be formed and that enzyme will be used in another reaction as its active site are present now so some other substrate can bind to this particular enzyme which is remained in this particular reaction so what are the properties of enzyme substrate complex since enzyme substrate complex is a kind of transition state it is formed in between so as we have discussed earlier that all the transition state are unstable since it is unstable therefore it is highly reactive and it is short lived since it is highly reactive it will react just after its formation so it is short lived and it is very essential to form enzyme substrate complex to get it converted into product why it is so essential to make enzyme substrate complex let us study that particular thing this is enzyme this is its pocket or crevices or the active site where the substrate get bind after that there will be some conformational changes or the enzyme will alter its shape to fit more tightly enzyme will show some kind of conformational changes or some kind of changes in its shape and structure to get bind to this particular substrate more effectively after that the bond breaking in this particular substrate takes place and the bond formation with the product take place so the substrate is getting converted into product with the help of this enzyme after that the product is released the product is released and the enzyme will remain as such with its active site so another substrate can bind to this particular active site to get converted into product so let's study it once more that this is enzyme having some kind of pockets or active sites on these particular active sites a substrate attacks and the enzyme will show some kind of conformational changes by which the bond breaking takes place and the bond making takes place by which the product is formed then the product is released and the enzyme will remain as such this is how the enzyme enzyme action take place enzyme will bind to substrate to form enzyme substrate complex and the enzyme substrate enzyme product complex or enzyme product association and after which the product is released and enzyme will form as such so i hope that this particular video is going to help you a lot in your examination guys this graph is very important from examination point of view so revise it one or two times more so thank you so much guys for watching this video if you really like this video then hit like button and if you are new then please subscribe to my channel thank you so much again for watching this video guys